Hey everyone, today I want to tell you about two audiobooks I recently listened to, Agent to the Stars by John Scalzi and Is It Just Me by Miranda Hart. Let's start with Agent to the Stars. We follow Tom Stein, our narrator, and he is an agent to movie stars. He's not a very big agent, he's just a small agent who has a lot of, well, bad clients and one who just made a major deal. And that's pretty good for him because he earned a lot of money with that. But then his boss calls him into his office and says he has a new client for him and he needs to devote all his attention to this client. Unfortunately, this new client turns out to be an alien that looks like a blob and smells like last month's sports shoes. So Tom's main task from now on is to find a way how to introduce this alien race to humanity and to make us humanity like the new race and want to have them around. This is a fun story. I liked following Tom around how he tries to make his superstar happy and how he tries to make the aliens happy and how he tries to make everyone happy and solve everyone's problems while making money at the same time and not going insane. I really thought this novel was very well written. It wasn't extraordinary well written, it was just well written. You could just dive into the story and not let go. You were sucked into Tom's life and what was going on. The characters were all fun and quirky. I really liked the interactions between Tom and the alien and how everything played around and what you learned about the characters, their thoughts and their ambitions and I really enjoyed that part. I also thought it was very interesting to look at the job of an agent in the movie industry and how the movie industry works a little bit, not knowing if any of that is true, admittedly. But it sounded realistic and that's the part I enjoyed. It didn't sound too unrealistic in a story about aliens. Well, whatever. The audiobook was narrated by Will Wheaton and again, he did an amazing job. He is a very good narrator for audiobooks. His voice is so soothing. I don't know if that is the right word, but you just want to listen to him nonstop. So I ended up playing Tetris, I think, for five hours listening to this audiobook because I couldn't just sit still and stare at the wall. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same thing about Miranda Hart. She narrated her memoirs or her book herself and I don't like her voice. I didn't know who Miranda Hart was. This book came highly recommended by a lot of you guys and I know a lot of you love it and enjoyed it. And I just think the biggest problem for me was her voice. I had the feeling she was talking down to me. Maybe it's just a British accent or the pitch of her voice, I don't know. But I couldn't get into it, so I never really enjoyed listening to her. Apart from the voice, I wasn't really interested in what she was talking about. I cannot say that she was hilarious or highly funny and entertaining. A lot of the times I was just bored and I thought she had the weirdest things to say and I didn't really believe a lot of it. I don't know why. I don't want to say that she exaggerated or whatever or told lies, but for some reason I just couldn't get into her stories. I was just not that interested. Which is funny because as a 39 year old single I should have a lot in common with her and should be able to understand a lot of the things she was talking about. But a lot of the times I was just like, no, this is just wrong. This is not how I want to live and how I want to be. Every time she talked about Miranda Land, I was just like, that's the world I don't want to be in. So I think the main reason I didn't like the book was that I couldn't find a connection to her. It wasn't all bad. She had me smile at some points or in the chapter where she explains to her 18 year old self the technology we have today and how we use it. That had me laugh out loud. This was by far my favorite chapter in the whole book. Those were my thoughts on those two novels. If you have read any of those, let me know in comments. And if you want to continue recommending audiobooks to me, just go ahead.